Hey everybody, where can you find trees that are 3,000 years old as well as 18 pound cat big boy? I'm right here at Alandon Gardens on this week's Beat Blast to go with five stories, including a tour of this magnificent garden. Stick with us. Welcome back to this edition of the Beat Blast, sponsored by the Admiral Theater. Story number one today, Dan Robinson's Alandon Gardens sits tucked away in a tranquil corner of Sinclair Inlet. But this prestigious garden is well known in the community for its world famous bonsai. I kind of like to fancy it as a, as a northwest natural landscape, a mixture of rock and gnarly wood and uh, oriental influence certainly in there also and then as a forum or a platform for my display of my uh, treasured bonsai collection which is quite extensive. I have about 330 trees on display here and um, quite of them are many of them are just extraordinary ancient old trees. So. Including how old? Well the oldest one is Methuselah over here and he's about 3,000 years old. But I have many trees that are over a thousand years old quite easily. For me, it's really an extension of the best that I've seen in nature. And so I really enjoy the idea of having trees that have at least the impression of profound age. Because that's to me is what bonsai is. It's a really ancient tree. It isn't just a little baby tree. Story number two, Black Pearl, a 260 pound black bear, might have died after being hit by a car in December in North Kitsap but a team of people helped to save her life, and now Black Pearl is about to be released back into the wild. Story number three, investigators were perplexed why a Bainbridge Island police officer's AR-15 rifle fired inside the Suquamish Clearwater Casino last April when he was responding for a help call from a fellow officer. The officer said there was a malfunction and told investigators that he'd replaced a part of the rifle. Thankfully, no one was hurt in the April incident. Kitsap Sun reporter Andrew Binion has the full story at kitsapsun.com. Story number four, here's a business that you don't see open every day, an urban plant shop. But that's exactly what has sprouted up at 865 6th Street. John Melicor, an interior design student, says he's already dealing with robust demand and plans to expand. So urban plant shop is an idea of kind of creating an urban jungle in our urban spaces and sort of creating an area where we can have a breathable and kind of very homey uh, environment. First open on February 1st on Friday Art Walk and I was out of plants. All the plants are gone and I just can't believe how inviting everyone is and wanting to support the, support the shop. Even if you have a space that isn't necessarily the most welcoming or friendly but, or, or a space that, you can, you, that doesn't feel like home just yet, adding a plant to it, adding a plant to that, sh that area kind of creates a more inviting atmosphere. Melicor is open on Saturdays and Sundays from 1 to 7 p.m. and he does plan to expand his hours. And finally, what's on tap for your weekend sponsored by Silver City Brewery Tap Room. If you've been interested in learning more about the country's opioid crisis, a forum Saturday at the Kitsap County Fairgrounds will bring together some of our region's top experts in dealing with this problem. The forum to be held on Saturday is at the Eagle's Nest, 1195 Northwest Fairgrounds Road. That's our show for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Special thanks to our sponsors and those of you who subscribe to the Kitsap Sun. We could not do this without you. See you next time.